the great pleasure for a teacher is when you feel like you've opened a window for somebody and that they're actually going to like fly out the window and, and go up. <laughs> I'm Bill Hunt, WM Hunt, yeah. and I'm an art consultant, specifically with photography. And I think about the experience of looking at photographs and have lots of feelings about that. And one of the things that is, I think, worth reporting about the art experience is its visceral quality, that that's when you, have, you really have this uh, intense personal reaction to something, and that it always comes as a surprise, and you go, and I treasure that, that experience. But it doesn't happen very often, and I think that one of the things to share is the example of when you take a kid to a museum, because pretty much there's this general sense that, oh my God, you really should respond to everything there and take it all in and it's all really, really great. The truth of the matter is, for me, that it's not all great, that most of it's really kind of like puzzling and disorienting and it's pleasant, but it doesn't have any real intensity. However, if they go to a museum or, or go to an art gallery or look, even look at a magazine and there's one thing in it that is really personal and valuable, that they've had, a, that that's been a real success, that that's the success of that visit, that the, the feeling kind of discouraged that, you know, geez, I was told everything's going to be fantastic here. Uh, look for the treasure. I'm the guy who's here to tell you that you don't have to love it all. Make yourself open, and if a lot of it's disappointing, I think that's really, that's really how it works. I, I wasn't raised in any kind of artistic situation, and I found the experience of looking at photographs to be so peculiar and intense and uh, exciting that that's how I taught myself. I would look at one and then I would try to find another one that offered me that kind of intensity. And then um, that's how I learned. In school, it's, I think it's, I'm always very intent on nurturing what the student has to say. Uh, I know you see things in your way different from me, and I want to know what it is. So I try to get them to be articulate about it and not be embarrassed about it, and it's very tricky. The hard part of thinking is, is people getting out of your way so that you go like, oh, I'm thinking this, I really am thinking this, and this is what I have to say. The great pleasure for a teacher is when you feel like you've opened a window for somebody and that they're actually going to like fly out the window and, and go up. <laughs> As it was like. <laughs> so uh, that's what I got to say about art.